Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. In today's video, we're going to be going through this giant haul of puzzles that I got for the month of November. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the most amount of puzzles I've ever received in one month. Uh, we've got a mix of online orders that I did and some Kickstarters and some hauls that I got on sale, um, a whole mix of fun and interesting stuff. But I think it's gonna take us a little while to get through, so maybe get yourself a drink and a snack and get comfy and let's go through these. So I've just uh, sorted the puzzles into groups sort of based on where I purchased or got them from. Um, so I figure let's first off go through all the ones from Amazon and then I've got a bunch of cloudberries as well. Um, so first up, uh, let's do some of the Buffalo Games ones. I feel like there's always like a bunch of um, puzzles from Buffalo. Um, so this one's actually only a 300 piece and I've actually been getting into some smaller piece counts lately um, just because I've been a bit busy. So it's kind of like nice to have something smaller that I can just quickly do. Um, and also I've been playing this sort of game on Instagram, like in the Puzzlegram community called Puzzle Battle. And um, the smallest piece count you can do is 300 pieces up to however many, but um, yeah, so sometimes it's handy to like have some smaller piece counts to play that and to be able to, you know, get puzzles done for that a bit more quickly. Um, yeah, so, but yeah, I've been quite enjoying having these smaller piece counts and there's actually been some really nice puzzle designs that I've discovered by looking at, I don't normally look at this smaller piece count, but yeah, I've discovered some pretty cool ones like this one, which I've actually already opened and done. Um, yeah, this one's just called uh, 300, well, it's just called Color Challenge and it's large pieces. Um, yeah, and oh, and it's part of the Vivid series, which, yeah, so I think pretty uh, self-explanatory as to why it caught my eye. Gorgeous rainbow colors and yeah, I just really love this sort of bizarre um, like sort of 3D cubey things. I'm not really sure. It's quite an abstract sort of thing. Yeah, it sort of seems to be like almost a wall of colored cubes. Some are like sticking out, some are pushed in, but yeah, I just thought it's a really cool, cool pattern and kind of a cool rainbow gradient. So yeah, um, definitely enjoyed doing this one and I can see myself doing it again. So it's pretty cool. And then next up from Buffalo Games is another 300 piece one, which I haven't done yet, but it keeps taunting me every time I look at it because it's very pretty. So this one's called Fruits and Veggies and I don't think it's part of, oh, it's large pieces as well. It's not part of any particular series that I'm aware of. And yeah, I just, I think it's been out for a while, but I just thought it looked really pretty. It's just basically this sort of lovely, colorful, illustrated style of, yeah, fruits and veggies. But there's lots of like very pretty pinks and greens and blues. And yeah, it's just, yeah, just a really nice, image and I think it might be a repeating pattern I'm not too sure or maybe not but there are like you know two like I guess peaches there and some of the same like vegetables or fruits repeating but yeah I just thought it was like really really sort of fun and uh, lovely so yeah I'm looking forward to this one and then back up to a bigger piece count we've got a 1000 piece Amy Stewart uh, puzzle from Buffalo Games. Um, this one's called Blacklight Bowling. So this one's been out for a little while, but um, it did come out only this year, I believe. And yeah, I just, um, of course, when I saw it, I knew I wanted to get this one. And it just has beautiful colors. Um, and basically the scenes that sort of a kind of very fun retro bowling alley. And it's just, it looks like it's, you know, at night with the like sort of lights down and the disco ball on and, yeah, it's really colorful and just looks looks like a lot of fun. So, and of course filled with lots of like little interesting details, like including what, what the people are eating and shoes and bowling balls and drinks and even like arcade games up the back and a little like food and drinks bar. Yeah, like a lot of details in there. So I think this one will be really fun to do. And then that's it for the Buffalo games, but some of the other things I got from Amazon include this uh, fun little one, 500 piece from Genuine Fred. Um, what's it called? Um, Life Lessons. And yeah, it's just made up of these four, unfortunately I've got a sticker over this bit, 
but these four like squares um, okay I'm gonna read it from the back so yeah they just have, have sort of like motivational quotes but it's very like a fun illustrated style so this top one says uh, don't be hard on yourself this shit ain't easy um, oh no that's that one and then you totally got this which I think is this one um, no rush there's always later and it's okay to scream with like this terrified looking ice cream I feel like that's me half the time uh, but yeah I just thought it was like just a fun one to have and I really like the sort of illustrated uh, text it's really cool and yeah a little bit retro feeling um, yeah so yeah just another fun one to do and just a smaller piece count so yeah I think this should be pretty pretty enjoyable to put together and I think having the four little like squares will probably make it a bit easier too especially since they sort of like have their own little colors and patterns so yeah that should be a fun one and then another one I got from Amazon is from Soonness, the artist. Um, it's part of the Life uh, collection. So this one is, I think the second one, so Marine Life. So I've already got the first one, Forest Life, but it sort of features these really cute and whimsical little characters, um, including, I believe, this character called Nina, I think is how you say it. And there's like lots of her hidden. So, you know, like the idea is that you can like, after you complete it or while you're completing it, you can try and find her in the picture as well. Um, I think there's like usually, I think like the Forest Life one had like 10 different versions of her doing all different little activities. So I think it's sort of the same idea here. Yeah, it says, hello, I'm Nina. Welcome to my marine life. I'm hiding in 10 different spots. I hope you find me as you put the puzzle together. Good luck. So yeah, very cute. Um, yeah, and so it's just full of, apart from that, it's also full of like lots of cute little marine water underwater characters doing all sorts of things like there seems to be a fish marathon and you know a, a fish getting putting the makeup putting makeup on and yeah just all sorts of like strange and like cute fun things um but yeah i really enjoyed the first one the forest life one so i'm definitely looking forward to this one um the forest life one was a little bit challenging because it had some really like green trees and well a forest but I think this one looks a little easier maybe, but time will tell, I guess. So yeah, this is definitely a really enjoyable looking puzzle. And then next up, we have one from another one of my favorite artists. So this is by Elena Essex and it's quite new and it's called Tiger Lounge, also 1000 pieces. And I just think it's really stunning. Um, yeah, this one just came out quite recently and yeah, basically features this very uh, handsome looking tiger um relaxing i guess in amongst its tiger lounge so it's got like a lovely bookshelf and plants and a little it's got itself a little tea set there and cute little uh pictures on the wall which are like another tiger which might be it and flamingo i guess a peacock um, a cheetah so probably it's i guess wildlife friends a lovely couch there so yeah it's got a lot of really like um, gorgeous sort of ornate details but it's really it's really kind of whimsical as well and I just love the colors like really bright and just vivid and yeah so I think it's just a really fun and interesting looking image um, and yeah another really fun one to put together so definitely looking forward to this one and then I've just got oh three more from Amazon wow okay more than I Thought. So the next one's from a brand I've never tried before, but I've been eyeing off for a while. So this is from Antelope Puzzles, and it's also 1,000 piece. And it's called Whisper of Cactus by the artist uh, Lynn Weiland. Weilin? I'm not too sure how you say that, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I just, I've seen their puzzles around on Instagram and Amazon, and they always like seem to have really lovely images. And this one caught my eye. I just really like um, just the colors and all the the cactus in here and the beautiful cactus flowers um yeah I just thought just looked really stunning and um I think it, it was on my wish list for a while but then I finally saw it at a reasonable price because it was quite expensive otherwise and then yeah so I jumped at the chance to grab it and yeah so I'm looking definitely looking forward to trying out this brand and seeing what like the piece quality is like and 
um, yeah, I'm hoping it's good because the box itself seems really nice quality and of course the artwork is just beautiful. Um, yeah, I really, yeah, I really like this artwork. It's just very detailed and it's very pretty. Um, yeah, so, and I, I really like their logo as well. It's sort of like a little stamp with the antelope in there and it's just a, just a kind of cute touch having like a fun logo like that. And it seems like it's got quite a bit of info about the artist as well. So I'm guessing they seem to take a bit of pride in and passion working with different artists. So it's sort of nice that they've included like a bit of artist bio on the back. Yeah, it makes it a bit more interesting and detailed. Um, and then next up, decided to, well, I decided to get this one for a couple of reasons. So this is a Ravensburger and it's just a 500 piece. Um, one, I wanted to get this one because it's by the artist, okay, how do I say her name? Demelsa Horton, whose artwork I really like. She always does these really, really cute little characters. They look quite sort of 3D. Um, so of, of course, when I saw she had this one out and I think another Halloween one out, um, I was like, okay, that's on the wish list. I've got to try and get it. And then two, I thought it'd be fun to add a Christmas puzzle to my collection because I don't really have many. I've only got like a couple others apart from this. I think I even showed one in one of my other hauls. Um, but yeah, so this one's just called Enchanted Christmas. And yeah, it's just a lovely little indoor Christmas scene. Um, it's just sort of got, I guess, like a different animals, like a penguin and a polar bear and a reindeer and it's sort of just a fun almost looks like a children's sort of like Christmas dream where it's got like large presents and fun like Christmas toys train set and nutcracker and yeah just all sorts of fun cute little details and yeah it just looks like a really fun and also I guess fairly quick puzzle I can do for Christmas so I'm actually even thinking of doing a video on this so that could be fun like just a little Christmas video um, so stay tuned for that I guess yeah so looking forward to that one too and then the last one I got from Amazon uh, last month is this Eurographics Ugh, heavy it's a 2000 piece one um, and it's by the uh, okay it's by the artist uh, Haruyo Morita which uh, I believe it's a she. She does these beautiful sort of traditional Japanese women and flowers and like scenery kind of artworks. Um, this one's called Har Haru no Uta, which I believe is spring song, if my memory serves me correctly. Um, I studied Japanese at university, so but I'm a bit rusty. Um, but yeah, it's just really bright and lovely and um, spring song would make sense because it's got all the cherry blossoms out which come out in spring in Japan um, yeah it's just just really stunning there's a lot of details I think it's going to be quite challenging being a 2000 piece because there's so many flowers and yeah just a lot going on and even like the ladies kimono is really detailed um, and even I've got quite a few puzzles actually by Eurographics and by the same artist but they're just 1000 piece but I still find them quite challenging because they always have a lot of like floral details and details in the kimono so I'm guessing this one being 2000 piece is going to be quite the challenge but also I think very rewarding because it's just such a lovely image it's just really yeah really stunning and looks really peaceful and beautiful so yeah definitely I don't know when it's going to get done but I think it'll definitely be enjoyable when I do work on this one. So yeah, so that's it from Amazon. Ooh, here's my pile there. So next up, I'm gonna quickly run through um, this sort of haul that I got from Cloudberries. I actually did a video on this recently, so I'll link that up in the cards or down below if I can't link it there. Um, but I went into quite a lot of detail about each one in that video, so I'll just sort of skim over these now. Um, so. I got um, origami. Um, yeah, so the reason why I got a whole bunch is they had a Halloween sale on their UK website. So I jumped at the chance to grab a whole bunch of some older, some new that I sort of had on my wish list. Yeah, so origami. Uh, yep, just really love the bright colors and sort of the simplicity of it. And also I used to do origami. So yeah, it really appeals to me. Um, so yep, definitely looking forward to that one. 
And then I got this lovely one called Epicurean. I just really love the colors and the detail. It's sort of like this uh, food setting, like a table full of different, like really yummy looking dishes and just beautiful, beautiful things like this fruit bowl and flowers and books and yeah, a lot of details and colorful, but sort of still in a more like subdued way. Um, but yeah, very, very pretty and very detailed. So I think that's a sort of a newish one. And then this one called Hands is just a really lovely, bright and bold one. Um, so I actually did this one in the video, so you can see me do that one. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. The quality was great. Um, it was just very colorful. Uh, yeah, just a really fun, fun puzzle to do. So yeah, I can see myself doing that one again. And it wasn't too hard um, just because of like, it's almost like lots of little mini puzzles, how it's broken up into a grid. But yeah, definitely, definitely liked this one. So, you know, if you've been eyeing it off, definitely recommend it. So yeah. And then this one I think is really pretty. This one's called Dreamscape. And um, yeah, it's very rainbow gradient -y and just beautiful colors, lots of pinks and purples. And I love this bright sort of chartreuse green, but it's sort of, yeah, Dreamscape sort of like a nice word for it because it's sort of got these like little like an oval and a rectangle and it almost looks like you're peering into someone's sort of dream like of this sort of like yeah, dreamy alien kind of landscape. It's got a lot of flowers and strange sort of quirky abstract kind of shapes and things. But yeah, so I don't, don't know exactly what's going on, but I guess it's up to the puzzler to decide what exactly is happening. Um, but yeah really yeah really want to do this one love the colors and the imagery so yeah i think it's really cool and then another one which i said in my video has a similar feel which i, I still think that is like chromatic um, mainly just because of these sort of rainbowy gradients they sort of make me they remind me of the dreamscape puzzle a bit but still a very different feel as well um, and it's sort of got this light and dark section and yeah just lots of weird abstract shapes and this sort of grid going on in the background and yeah I don't know I guess there's like some things in here like it looks like there might be plants and brick walls and stuff but it's all a bit nonsensical and abstract but yeah so it sort of makes me think it's a bit dreamlike as well um, yeah so I think that'll be fun looks could be a bit tricky because there's a lot of details in there um, yeah so we'll have to see and then the last one I got from Cloudberries is one I've been eyeing up for a while called Skyline. And I just think this is a really stunning image. Um, basically it's beautiful, colorful nighttime cityscape with these like traditional sort of boats um, and the moon. Yeah, it just looks really beautiful. Um, I have heard that the background's quite difficult because it's just like this dark bluey black and there's quite a bit of it, both top and bottom. So. But, you know, that hasn't deterred me. I've still just really wanted to get this one. I think it'll be really, really beautiful once it's done. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so definitely looking forward to doing all these Cloudberries ones, like apart from the one I've already done. Um, you know, I just enjoy their quality and their art, they always have really fun artwork. So I'm super glad I grabbed these ones. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's it from Cloudberries. Um, up next, I'm going to... Um, show you a bunch of puzzles that I got from a few different places. Um, I think they're all, yeah, all online, but all Australian um, companies. So yeah, let's get into those. So I've got a mix of places here that puzzles came from. Um, I think all Australian except one, which is Book, De Book Depository. Um, so the first three are from uh, an Australian company here called Jigsaw Store. They do have a premises that you can go collect your puzzles from in Sydney if you want to, but otherwise they just send it to you. Like they don't actually have a storefront or anything and you're not, you can't buy directly from the pickup place. There, It's only to pick up your online orders, but I usually do that just to save shipping if I can. Um, so since lockdown's over now, they're open so I can do that. So that's been really handy. Um, so I only got like three from them. So one that I got was this 500 piece Clementoni from their Color Boom series. So um, yeah, they seem they had a rainbow gradient one out ages ago, which has sort of been a staple of their collection for a while, which I have. But then they sort of re-released that and a whole bunch of these new colorful rainbow 
gradient-y type puzzles under this sort of color boom collection, which of course I've been eyeing them all off and I've been slowly trying to get my hands on them. Um, so this one's just a 500 piece one and it's just called Color Room Collection and then, oh, what's it called? Hang on, I will find it. I think it's just, oh, just squares, which makes sense. Yeah, it's sort of like, I guess, a whole bunch of, looks sort of like the back of buildings or you're know, like you're in the middle of a city or something. And yeah, and then has all these like sort of color block sections and then all these colorful rainbow squares on this sort of side of the building here. So just sort of looked simple but fun. I don't, um, I guess it would be a little bit challenging just doing this sort of colorful square section, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It looked really pretty and I wanted to get it. So yeah, when I saw they had it, I jumped at the chance. Um, another one I got from them is this adorable cobble hill puzzle, which is a 500 piece, which I've had my eye on for a while, but a lot of places were just sold out. And this is, it's called Dush Hound Round the World and it features this cute sausage dog or Dush Hound and in front of this suitcase covered in like lots of travel sticker paraphernalia. And yeah, it just looks really, including like sausage dog ones. So yeah, it's really cute. A lot of fun details. Um, yeah, and the dog looks super cute. Yeah, normally, like I've said, like in previous videos, um, Obviously I'm a cat person and I love, I have a lot of cat puzzles and still get a lot of cat puzzles. But yeah, lately I've been getting a few dog ones, especially when they look super cute like this one. Um, yeah, I just love the sort of realistic style of the, the Dush Hound and yeah, it's just really fun and cute and I love traveling as well. So, you know, being to some of these places on here. So I think that'll be really fun to put together. Um, yeah, and it says it's also a random cut, which I, I enjoy their random cut. It's a little bit different, gets me thinking outside the box a bit. So I think that's going to be really enjoyable. And then the other one I got from them is another one of this brand that I can never pronounce. Gecko, maybe that's right. Um, I think it's a French brand and I've gotten a couple other puzzles from them. They sort of have this distinct, really long box. Um, which is weird, but okay. <laughs> now that I have a few of them, I can start stacking them together. So maybe it'll work in my puzzle shelves. Uh, but yeah, I saw this one, I actually saw someone on Instagram with this and I just thought it was a really lovely, colorful image. And then I had a search for it and yeah, I found it through Jigsaw Store. Uh, so this one's 1000 pieces and it's called Rainbow Tigers. And yeah, it's just, you can't see, unfortunately, the whole image on the front or the sides, but um, yeah, basically looking at the back, it's sort of got these couple of tigers and it's sort of got a spotty, I guess, cheetah or leopard in the, wait, yeah, cheetah, leopard, one of those in the middle and then surrounded by all these beautiful, like, there's a bird up here and colorful flowers and sort of leaves and yeah, so I guess they're sort of lurking in the jungle is the idea, but it's a very sort of tropical looking jungle. But yeah, it's all really colorful and yeah, I think it's going to be really fun to do. I've actually just, I don't know what the pieces are like for their 1000 pieces, but I actually just completed one of their 500 and um, yeah, it was quite a different experience. The pieces were like quite, uh, they had a very shiny glossy top and a sort of a paper coating on the back with their logo on it. and. Uh, very like sturdy cardboard, but I didn't mind it. Uh, the piece of fit was a little bit loose, like you can't really do a puzzle pick up or pick up sections, but but still it was just, the quality was pretty nice. So not sure if that's the same for the 1000 piece. So definitely look forward to trying that out and seeing what, like if the quality is the same for the, this piece count. But either way, I think the image is just absolutely stunning. So yeah. So next I've got another three puzzles, but this time from a different uh, Australian company. This one's called The Gamesmen and they do um, not just puzzles, but like computer games and board games and things. But yeah, they do have a bit of a puzzle section on their website. They do actually have a physical store as well, but I usually do the thing where I order it online and then do a free pickup or like click and collect from their store because um, they have a store here in Sydney as well. So I got another one of these Clementoni Color Boom collection puzzles. This time it's called Waves and 
I just think this one's really stunning. Um, I mean, I guess it's essentially a rainbow gradient, but I, I just love the way the waves look in it. it sort of ha have a bit of a 3D effect and just looks really cool. So yeah, pretty self-explanatory. Did I say, yeah, 500 pieces. Um, so I think this one will look really pretty when it's done and yeah, and I don't mind the Clementoni quality. I'm assuming these new ones are the sort of same as the ones I've done before. The fit tends to be kind of loose. The pieces themselves are a nice quality, quite like sturdy and the print on them is really nice, but they do have a very loose fit I find, which is the only unfortunate thing really. Um, but I, I like their imagery and the other things about their puzzles enough to sort of like, you know, look over that that issue so yeah but definitely glad to have this in my collection just another really pretty puzzle and then the last one I got no sorry two more the other one I got from gamesmen is a really small piece count it's a hundred pieces and I would never normally really buy such a small piece count but the reason I got this one is because it's uh, like that Christmas puzzle I showed earlier. This one's also by the same artist, uh, Demelsa Horton, I believe. And this one's called Planet Playground. So seems like now I'm collecting all of her puzzles. Um, didn't really intend to, but her style, her artwork style is just really growing on me. And she just has some really adorable little animal characters and this sort of 3D kind of style. And yeah, this one just features sort of a space theme where it's these cute animals sort of playing and doing different things on planets and it's like a ladder from the moon and one of them's on a boat and seems to be all these little ladders connecting the different planets yeah it's just a really fun and cute little space theme um and i don't know maybe it's just a fun little hundred piece i can do what you know in between things like you know if i'm busy i can just quickly and i feel like i need i need to like have my little puzzle fix this could be a, a fun option and just a quick little option to do so yeah i mean it does say it won't be that small because it it's extra extra large so i guess yeah it's got bigger pieces um but yeah i think it should be a fun little puzzle or bigger little puzzle i don't know whatever and then yeah so now the last one i got from gamesmen i've got still had a couple more after that is this one I've been eyeing off for a really long time. Um, this one's only 300 pieces and it's by Ravensburger. It's all, but the pieces, it says large piece format, easy to see and handle. I'm like, definitely need that in my old age. Um, this one is the Washi Wishes. So it's like washi tape and it's by Lars Stewart. So Amy Stewart's husband, I believe. And yeah, I've just, I have was reluctant to get it at first for a long time because I wasn't buying such small piece counts. Like I was a bit like, oh, you know, I don't do anything below 500 pieces. But but now I've like, yeah, kind of embraced these smaller piece counts just because it's sometimes nice to just do a puzzle quickly and not have to worry about it taking two hours or a few hours. Like, you know, this you can just do in a short amount of time. Um, yeah, but I just love this all this washi tape I actually have a fair bit of washi tape in my again in my spare room where all the hobbies go to die um but yeah these the patterns and colors of these are just really pretty lots of sort of rainbow colors and yeah beautiful so much detail so I think even for a 300 piece it's just going to be a lot of detail and colors packed into this one um yeah so really glad I end up getting this and yeah I think it's just going to be a really pretty one pretty addition to my puzzle collection. So the next one is not actually from an Australian company. This is just from Book Depository. I sort of, I don't know, I sort of forgot that Book Depository had puzzles. <laughs> and then I was searching for a puzzle recently and came across a whole bunch of puzzles on their website and saw some for a reasonable price, including this one. Um, so this is called the World of Dracula. Um, and it's uh it's basically just what does it say like enter castle dracula if you dare immerse yourself in the gothic world of dracula etc etc and it's just got all these like fun details of sort of a dracula's sort of world that are going on um yeah all sorts of things different characters and even on the side it sort of lists the characters 
I think it's got Dracula and Jonathan Harker, Vampire, John Seward, um, Jonathan Harker and Mina, like all these characters from, I guess, the classic sort of Dracula stories. Um, yeah, so it just looks really fun. Um, and I believe this is by oh, Lawrence King Publishing, so it's sort of like a book publisher. And I've actually got a couple um, other puzzles sort of like in this same style, this square box, very nice sort of like quality. Um, one is like an Alice in Wonderland one and another one is this sort of mythical world map puzzle with all these like interesting mythical creatures and monsters. And so I enjoyed the quality of that one. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun and just beautiful illustrations. So I, I like the Dracula books and or book and um, the different movies that have been out. So yeah, I like vampire stuff. Um, so yeah, when I saw this one, I thought it looked really fun and whimsical and a little bit spooky. Um, yeah, and it's just, I knew that the quality would be good. So yeah, jumped at the chance to get my hands on this one. Um, it's a fairly newish release. Like I think it's only been out a couple months or something like that. So yeah, you should still be able to get this one. Um, I think I've seen it on Amazon as well, actually, like quite a few places. But yeah, it should be fun. Okay, and then the last puzzle from these sort of this miscellaneous group of puzzle places um, is this one's from um, a department store in Australia called Maya, um, but they have like an online store as well. But they sell all sorts of stuff, clothing, like toiletries, like everything. But they have puzzles in their games and sort of toy section. Um, but yeah, they had this one on sale. And so of course I was like, oh my God, I have to get it. And this is another one from the Clementoni Color Broom series or collection. And this one's a thousand pieces. And yeah, I guess it's another take on a rainbow gradient. But I think oh, this one's called Collage. And yeah, so it's made up of all these little squares of different like photo images. So it's like flowers and I don't know, like clocks, numbers, um, walls, like like everything, like lots of things from I guess daily life, like little abstract things. And but yeah, it seems to all be photos, not illustrations as far as I can tell. And yeah, and they've just sort of, a bit. I guess it's a bit like those photo collages where you, it's a photo of a person's face, but it's made up of like photos of like other things. It sort of reminds me of that, but it's instead of a face, it's like this rainbow gradient. And it kind of reminds me a bit of like the Shelley Davies puzzles, um, that her sort of collage style a bit. Um, yeah, so I think this one should be pretty enjoyable. Um, I don't know how hard it will be. It's gonna be interesting to see. Like, I mean, I guess it'll be easy enough to sort into the sort of color sections, but then putting together all the little squares of pictures, I don't know how easy or hard that's gonna be. So. Yeah, but definitely glad to have added this one to my collection. I think it's just really pretty and just should be really enjoyable. Um, and, you know, a diff bit of a different take on a rainbow gradient. So that's always nice having like a bit more variety. Um, I have so many rainbow gradients in my collection that, you know, it's nice to have ones that are just a bit of a different take, or a bit of a different spin on your classic gradient. So, yeah. So that's it from those. Um, I have a few more puzzles to go from a couple of Kickstarters. Um, should be able to get through those pretty quick. So let's have a look at those now. Okay, so we're up to the last lot of puzzles. Um, these all came from a couple of Kickstarters that I backed earlier this year and just happened to be ready and arrive during the month of November. So yeah, that was fun having all these puzzles arrive on my doorstep. Uh, so the first lot is from the artist Soonness and is the uh, part of the gradient well they are the gradient therapy collection and uh, yeah so these are from a Kickstarter but I believe you can get them on Amazon now and I think they'll be available elsewhere in the future um, I actually just did a video on this so I'll try and link that up in the cards or down below if it's not there uh, so I won't go into too much detail but yeah basically um, they're all sort of these beautiful rainbow gradients and the front of the boxes sort of give a hint as to what the image is. So this one's got stripes on the front, but yeah, the actual image is this uh, big a block of like, uh, I guess, gradient stripes. So it's really pretty. Um, all these are 1000 pieces as well. And sort of your standard 
uh, I guess 70 by 50 centimeters, sorry, I don't know, inches, but um, so you're sort of standard 1000 piece sizing. Um, but yeah, they're just really pretty. The gradients are just really lovely and um, they're just a little bit different than your sort of average rainbow gradient, I guess. Yeah, so yeah, this one's got stripes. Um, so I haven't done this one yet, but I have done one of them. Um, but I really enjoyed the one I did, so I think this one will be equally as fun and I think it'll just look stunning when it's finished as well. And then, which one's this? this is, oh, this is the one I did. Um, so yeah, you, all you see on the front and the sides pretty much is the, oh, I forgot to mention, sorry, the, the last one was called Sky Love, sorry. And then this one's called Jelly Bean and you'll see why in a sec. So yeah, the front just sort of gives you a hint, pretty much shows you the gradient colors that are in this one. But it's called jelly bean because basically it's this lovely curvy jelly bean shape. Yeah, so that's the one I did in the video. Had a lot of fun doing it and I think it just looks really, really pretty. Um, yeah, just really vivid and colorful. Yeah, really enjoyed it. And then the last one in that collection is called Magic Box. And that probably gives you a hint. Um, yeah, so again, sort of gradient wraps around the front and the sides of the box and there's a bit of a hint um, so yeah the gradient that's shown is basically the gradients that are in this lovely sort of 3d giant rectangle box which I guess is the magic box and yeah this one looks like a lot of fun as well um, I like that you got these three distinct sections so you could just sort of work on one bit at a time and sort of break up the puzzle that way if you didn't have time to do it all in one sitting or you you found it a bit too much to do like as a whole image I guess so yeah um, yeah so I really like all of the three in this collection I guess the idea behind it was that they're just meant to be very relaxing and calming and just beautiful puzzles to do um, yeah so definitely looking forward to doing the other two that I haven't tried yet um, really enjoyed the quality so I think those two will be really really enjoyable to do as well and then the last set of puzzles are from another Kickstarter that I backed by this brand called Odd Pieces, which I just discovered them. I don't own any other puzzles from them. I don't know if they have any other puzzles. This might be it. So there's, let me just put them on the table. There's three in this collection, but you could just back like one or a couple, like they had different options. Same with the Soonness series as well. Um, Sorry, there's a lot of bits here, but I decided to sort of back all three because they all looked fun. Um, yeah, so basically it's called Odd Pieces and the idea is that they're sort of mystery puzzles. Um, so there's, there were three on offer and they're all a thousand pieces. They feel quite chunky and heavy and in these little chunky boxes, but they're a bit like is it was jig where the image on the front of the box is not the image that you do. It's that sort of idea. So it's still sort of that style and that kind of setting. Um, and those sort of characters, but it's a bit of a mystery puzzle. So uh, yeah, it says build to find out what happens. Um, and then it says like things that are included, um, your puzzle, some puzzle guide maps, storytelling comics, hidden clue checklist and a secret ending envelope. So you sort of, I guess each puzzle sort of has a bit of a theme and a story to it and some sort of mystery that you have to, I guess, solve or find the clues to figure it out. Um, but I just thought like they, I haven't really done any puzzles like that. And I really thought the artwork on all three was quite cute. Um, and it wasn't an overly expensive Kickstarter or anything. So yeah, I just thought, why not back it and this looks fun. Um, so yeah, I don't think I, did I mention that each one is by a different artist, so it's a different style, but they're all kind of very cute style. So this one's called Turbo 3000, and it's sort of this futuristic underground um, setting and full of like very strange, quirky little monster characters doing all sorts of things, like a sort of like a, looks like a very lively city and little cars and trucks and buildings and yeah these sort of like strange blobby monsters um, but yeah it just looked fun and then another one in the series was called snack attack and it's also got really cute little sort of characters and from what I what I was reading is that um, 
there's all it's like a school or something and it's like all well, the teachers are dogs but the students are humans so <laughs> thought that was quite comical and funny um, but yeah it looks really cute there's always like a lot going on in each of these like sort of very busy um, and lively and then the last one in the series which I think is probably my favorite just from the look of it is it's very pretty and the colors are very me uh, it's called beyond the kelp so it's an underwater scene and it's got these like lovely purpley blue teals and pinks all these colors that I like um, and yeah it's just an underwater scene and cute little weird not necessarily fish but strange little alien like characters and doing all sorts of weird and wonderful things and yeah they all just look like a lot of fun and quite different to the sort of puzzles I normally do I've never really I've never done like a was jig or anything like that so I think this sort of style of puzzling it's gonna be new and a bit of an interesting experience for me so I definitely look forward to trying some of these out sometime in the near future I guess um, yeah and just see whether I like this sort of type of puzzling um, maybe maybe I'll really get into it and buy more puzzles that are sort of like that um, also like because it was a Kickstarter they had like different deals and like early bird specials so I think because I ordered these like within a certain time limit I got like a little some little bonus uh, 150 piece puzzles so they seem to be um, each one is like sort of matches one of these puzzles and they just come in this cute tube and they're like the tiniest little pieces I guess like those like micro puzzles they're sort of that sort of thing but yeah each one I think features characters from like each of the puzzles so this one's like beyond the kelp um, sort of characters underwater characters which look really cute and then we've got the snack attack one with like the doggy kind of characters and then the turbo 3000 one which is I don't know these weird little monsters so I don't do many of mini puzzles either I think I've sort of borrowed one or two from a friend and they were pretty fun also very fiddly I'm like might need like some tweezers or something because I feel like my fingers are just too fat and big for tiny puzzles but I think they're just like good fun to do kind of the, a cool thing to have on your desk that you could like do in your lunch break or something while you're on hold on the phone or whatever watching videos something like that so yeah I was like happy that I got these sort of thrown in with the other puzzles um, yeah so two sort of like puzzling styles that I never normally dabble in so definitely excited to sort of try something new so that's everything for the whole of November um, I think that's pretty much the most I've ever received in one month um, I guess part of it is just down to like getting a bunch on sale from Cloudberries um, from their Halloween sale which arrived in November and then having a couple of Kickstarters turn up so yeah we end up with quite a few this month um, so I guess let me know what you thought of my puzzle haul for November did you get any of these Kickstarters starters as well um, or have you backed any other Kickstarters recently and I guess yeah what did you think of the puzzles the other puzzles I got um, did you get any of these puzzles or are they on your wish list maybe um, yeah so I guess let me know in the comments below like sort of what's on your wish list or what, what puzzles have entered your collection recently yeah just let me know your thoughts and yeah so thanks so much for watching and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can keep up to date with all things puzzles and for even more puzzle content you can check me out over on instagram at jigsaw underscore thanks so much for watching and see you next time bye